Hey, what is guys? My name is Eric, and welcome to a premiere tutorial. Today is going to be a tutorial on how to create this echo effect with your audio, and this is going to be sort of a part of a mini series within my premiere tutorials where I show audio effects done in Premiere Pro with no external help from, say, Audacity or any other programs. Um, that are meant for audio editing, so if you're like in a hurry and you need to finish a project quickly or you just don't want to mess around with multiple programs uh, Like Audacity is perfect for audio editing. Everyone uses that because it's great for that one purpose But if you just want to do everything in one program, which in this case will be Premiere Pro Then that can be also done. It's not gonna be the most amazing results. It's not going to yield the best results when it comes to audio editing, but it's still comparable, and it still it still works. Uh, so yeah, uh, today's tutorial is going to be on creating an echo or reverb sound effect. I use this a lot in my funny moments videos. Basically, the effect itself is that of uh, someone like yelling into a cave or some big room. You know how. It, when you yell into a big room or a cave, it kind of bounces off the walls and that, that's the kind of effect we're gonna be creating here. All you need for this is Premiere Pro, nothing else. So yeah, let's jump right into Premiere Pro. Alright, here we are we're in Premiere Pro, I already have my project set up. It's just a short clip that I recorded where I just say hello. Hello. And that's it. Um, that's my like, signature uh, saying nowadays. When I'm playing video games, I'm like, hello. Uh, when some like uh, random uh, stuff happens and I'm gonna like what what is going on what the heck how did that happen but yeah so just set up your projects Ho hopefully you guys know how to set up your own projects if you don't know that it's super basic super easy to do so if you really do need a tutorial on that for whatever reason uh, I guess feel free to leave a comment down below and I might make a tutorial on that uh, but as I said it's super easy Pro you guys probably already know how to do that so <clears throat> Once you have your project set up with your audio and all that, make sure you click on the uh, audio layer. You might want to unlink in case you have multiple audio layers, like if you're playing a video game and you're recording with OBS or Shadowplay. Shadowplay now supports 12 audio channel recording, so you're gonna have your in-game audio on one layer, and then your mic audio on one la another layer, and the person also use a third layer, I believe, uh, which combines the two. Uh, anyways, you might want to separate them. You want to cut out like a certain sp a certain part. Like I don't need all of this uh, empty space here, and I'm just gonna leave he this here. Make sure when you're doing the reverb or the echo effect that you leave some space after the uh, uh, after this here. So if I want to only do the hello, and also I start talking, let's say here, then you might want to cut the audio from here, so that whatever I was saying here does not get affected by the reverb. But you also need to leave some space for the echo effect itself to manifest. So if I got it from here, the echo effect will instantly cut off at this point and it will sound a lot weirder. I can show how it will sound in a second. Uh, but yeah, basically just make sure you have some space after the echo part here, uh, the part that you want to add echo to. If you, if you have a clip here or like a voice clip, or say something and then you say something right after and you don't have enough space you can actually cut out that part and extend it in uh, a different program or even probably even uh, Premiere Pro you can like cut out then like an empty space here paste it here render that out and then bring it back in but that's a little bit more work and uh, I'm not gonna go into full depth in this tutorial on how to do that uh, but as 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 you as per usual, if you have a tutorial request, just leave it in the comments, and I'll get to it most likely. Anyways, enough rambling. All you need to do is make uh, is to make sure that you have the effects tab open. If you don't, go to Windows and just press on Effects, a window and Effects. From here, go to the search bar and try type in Reverb. That's all you need to do. Drag and drop it onto the outer layer. If you have multiple layers, you can drop it down to whichever one you want and make sure you delete it off the other one because if you have to, to all audio layers and you both add reverb and you haven't even changed any settings it's still gonna add reverb so just a cautionary uh, whatever <laughs> uh, just to make sure that you actually do it the right way so it, it's gonna automatically put on a small room one and you can play around with this as you can see it's uh, it's a bit low so I'm gonna 
up the audio, audio gain here on both the uh, volume level and also the left and right channels. Hello? Well so you can hear me a lot better. I might, th I think this is a little bit short now, uh, so I'm gonna add a bit more uh, length to the reverb Hello? to work. Hello? Well As you can see, it, it kind of like continues on, it's gonna echo on for a little bit, so you need to have that space. I usually personally use church, I pull this close, I adjust this, this is like the loudness, and this is how far away it sounds, or how long it echoes for. Hello? That's my favorite. Um, and now I'm gonna show you guys how it would sound like if you just cut it off right after whatever you said. This is what's gonna sound, what's it gonna sound like. Hello? As you can see, it only echoes towards the very end, only a little Hello. bit. So you want to have that length here. And I might just carry this on for a little while longer. Hello? And you can he really hear that echoing in the background. It goes like, hello. Um, hello. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Well. You can mess around with this setting as per usual with everything in editing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or also questions for either future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.